Um, John, just play your music. We'll chat once yeah. there's people. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Crazy car tricks. What is your question for today? <laughs> Ask your boxing questions, guys. Your deepest, darkest desires. All right, guys, I'll give you guys a quick tour. We're just driving through the, um, we're just driving through some canyons right now. We got a live DJ in the house. <laughs> I'll flip the camera around again. As you can see, it's a uh, very picturesque day. I never found that guy. I never found the guy who stole all the furniture, so, um, yeah. But when I do find him, I'm gonna use all my, all my Lomachenko techniques on him. I'm headed to LA. Oh, best boxing gym in LA? That's, oh boy, that's a tough question. Best boxing gym in LA. You know, there's so many great gyms and so many different cultures, you have to try them all. A wild card is good for random sparring. Goosens is good for finding pros. Outlaws is good for sparring. All the stuff in Ventura County is great. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dervol. Yeah, Freddie Roach is an awesome guy. <laughs> if you can find some time with him, at most, uh, you know, for me, I think I, I can get a picture and that's about it. Um, actually, you know what? I think he, he will hold, hold mitts for you. Yeah, it's a Tesla. And that's correct. I'm drive. Uh, I don't know if you call this driving, but I'm in a I'm in a Tesla. I never trained with Eddie, so I don't know anything about him. But I imagine he's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I, uh, the YouTube the YouTube channel made me a millionaire, man. I'm just kidding. Actually, YouTube doesn't make any money at all. Tell Fimo Loma, I'm going to say Loma because he's been around longer. He's accomplished so many more things. Even if Tail Fimo beats Loma, it still wouldn't make him a better better fighter. All right. Ak Ak is sitting right behind me, but, but, but where? You see all our gear? We're prior military. Let me, let me see if I can get, get the floor. <laughs> it's trash back there. It's all trash. Tank Orion. Ooh. No, I'm not headed to Tijuana. The boxing in MMA is cool. You know, all MMA fighters train in boxing, but they don't, um, you know, they're not pure, but you know, but, but they're not bad. I have to say, you know what? You, you don't think you, you don't think you want white seats, but they're very easy to clean. There's videos of people pouring wine and, and, and it comes off easily. So, you know, don't worry about the, uh, don't worry about the seats. What other questions? Tank, Tank or Ryan? Ooh. You know, Ryan's the Ryan's the bigger fighter. He's naturally bigger, so that's how I feel. Why do so many fighters back foot come off the ground when they throw a hard knockout punch? Well, usually it's not good to keep to take your feet off the ground. I don't think power punches can be thrown that way. But a lot of times when your opponent is hurt already, then no matter, you know, just reach in there and finish him off. So that's what I think it is. It's not because they're more powerful, but because you have a hurt opponent, so you want to just reach in. Hey, what's up, uh, Ciencia de Box? Hey man, check out my uh, check out my Brazilian expert boxing. I don't know if you've seen it, but expertboxing.com.br. It's in Portuguese. 
Holy Fielder, Mike Tyson when they come back. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I feel like Mike Tyson looks to be in better shape, but Holyfield kicked his ass a long time ago, so that's tough. That's a tough choice. Do I recommend training at La Habra? I mean, I had a great time there. I haven't been back there in 10 years or so, but I had a great time, so why not? Come in there and give it a try and tell me how it was. Bivol and Bet Beterbiev. You know what, man? I think I would pick Bivol just because he's younger. He's prime. Beterbiev, he, he could be knocked down and he's a beast, but I don't know. I, I, I could see myself picking Bivol in that one. Yeah, I was in the army. I was in the army a long time ago. Some of you got to ask, uh, uh, okay. Me versus prime Mike Tyson. I would be undefeated because I wouldn't take the fight. You know, that's that's what I would do. I would do not a lot of negotiations and I would stall and ask for a lot of pay-per-view money. <laughs> I would be a difficult negotiator. But I but I would use them to, uh, you know, prop up my name. That's what I would do. I would call them out a lot but not fight them. <laughs> Next question. Fury, easy. Fury. Fury all the way. My favorite brand. You know what? There's too many good brands in there, man. You can't. There are too many good brands that are put down. They put their time and put quality work day in, year in, and year out. Uh, now there's so many. There's so many at, at every level. I love all my gloves. Denardo, Fly, Ring the Cage, uh, Winning. Nikali. Thank you, Rani. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy the videos and uh, I, I enjoy you guys too. I, I love talking boxing with, you know, with, with boxers. Best budget gloves? Top boxer or ring the cage? Best boxing shoes? Best boxing shoes, uh... You gotta try them all, man. You got white feet, I like Nike. You got money. If you got money, you can get the uh, the Japanese brand. What's it called? My uh, my Yatsu or <laughs> something like that. Um, Denardo is great, but it's expensive. I don't think a lot of people can afford that. Uh, Reebok, I imagine, will be okay. Adidas will be okay. Uh, some ever less. Next question. Oh, Mizuno. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That, those are great shoes. Hyper KO is great. That's like the standard now. Yeah, I'm definitely not driving. Definitely not driving. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck Reebok. Why? Best combo to add with boxing, wrestling, or judo? You know, I, you can't go wrong with either because... Wrestling is great because there's a lot of ground stuff, but judo is is about putting your bringing your opponent to the ground without you going down. So, because wrestling, you got to go down there with them, you know. And if you're, I don't know. Hey guys, if MMA was on concrete, everyone would do judo. Yeah, I I can agree with that. I you know I'm not a big guy, so I don't want to be rolling around down there to be honest. Boxing and wrestling is deadly. Yeah, of course. That was that was pretty much the UFC in the 90s, boxing and wrestling. I'm about 5'7", maybe 143 pounds, you know, give or take a couple pounds up or down. What speed bag brand? Uh, we use a lot of, like, title and uh, title and uh, ring, ringside. Can I piece crash a car? Yeah. I'll do it. I will do it at the end of this video for you guys, all right? I'll crash your car. Who win a street fight, wrestler or boxer? Well, you, you don't know. I mean, you have to say wrestler because 
he has a lot of advantages, but at the same time, a lot of boxers, the hands are so quick, man. You, and if, a lot of people think that boxers can't wrestle, but they can. They know how to stay on their feet. They know how to, you know, they know how to hold, get, get clenched, and, and, and hug, and, you know, maul on the inside. Yeah, man, maybe, 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 uh, maybe I am uh, cousins with your friend. <laughs> We're all family. How much does it cost to build a decent home gym? You know what? If you're looking on like uh, Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or something, there's always gyms going out of business and you can get gear for pretty cheap. Be on the lookout, punching bags, there's always people who buy gear and they give up like two weeks later, they give it for free. So, you know, any, anywhere from a couple hundred bucks and to a couple thousand, you can get a really nice gym set up at home. You know, build, you know, do your own, do it yourself. Home Depot, build it, get, get ropes, get padding, mats, mirrors, it's all possible. Many takedowns in and out of the clinch. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Log, legs grab, leg grabbing and all kinds. Yeah, that's why it costs as much as you want. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what art you train, but if you train in a grappling sport like wrestling or jiu-jitsu, then you know what to do when a guy, uh, when a guy, um, grabs you when a guy gets close to you and clinches and wrestles but if you box then you know what to do when guys throw punches at you so that's more of it's not about how you win it's that you feel comfortable with the kind of people coming at you do i think wilder will ever regain a heavyweight title i don't see why not he, you know with the right matchmaking and with his power oh yeah one punch is all it takes what I think of Dimitri Bivol, I think he's, he's a really good fighter, man. You know what's funny? Dimitri Bivol's wife is one of my good friends, like best friend, BFF. So, you know, they live in LA and I've been meeting, I want to have dinner with them. So I've been telling her like, hey, let me meet, let me meet your friend and more importantly, let, let me meet your friend's husband. Roberto Duran, or, or okay, Duran easily. Uh, I would pick Duran easily, there's no question. When I make a fist out of uh, some of my other knuckles stick out. I don't understand what that means, man. Just aim, aim with your first two knuckles or the middle knuckle when you punch. Yeah, be both solid, man. I, I'd be very shocked if he fights... Uh, if he fights Canelo, I would be very, like, if they make that happen, I would be very curious to see that. That would be a really interesting fight. Do I ever see Canelo losing? You know what? I got to say this. Canelo lost to Triple G. I'm a, I'm a Canelo fan. I'm a Triple G fan. I'm a Canelo fan. He lost to Triple G. Triple G is freaking mega great. Um, but uh, do I think, I mean... Maybe not anytime soon. That guy's a solid, he's a solid boxer. Thoughts on uh, Southpaw utilizing the Philly show? Yeah, that happens all the time. Look at look at uh, Guillermo Rigandia. That guy uses all the time. Pernell Whitaker is, is a lot of Philly, Philly show. MMA fighters I like. I like that Usman, Kamaru Usman. Man, that guy is awesome. Um, I just saw the, the Paulo Costa and... Uh, Yoel Romero, that was a lot of fun. I think Mayweather's a lot of fun too. Um, I don't like the matchmaking. I think he fights a lot of smaller guys. I thought Canelo lost both Triple G fights. The second one was closer, but it was clear. For me, it was clear Triple G won, but it was closer. The Lara fight, I had Canelo winning actually. Lara looked pretty, he avoided a lot of shots, but he never put any pressure. He never he never had Canelo's respect. You know, whereas when Canelo touched him, he didn't like it. I felt Lara was actually the more uncomfortable one. But I'm sure Canelo wasn't having an easy time either. Um, but yeah. Bivol and Berturbi. <laughs> Usman sucks. 
Ramesh, I drive your mom. That's that's the car I drive. <laughs> what do I think about the possibility of brain damage? Uh, there's no question, man. There's, it's not possibility. If you, if you do it long enough and you fight stupid, you don't use your defense. You 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 let your ego get the best of you, and and if you try to answer every hard shot by giving your own hard shot, you. And I'm back. Uh, okay. Hey guys, give a shout out to, to our live DJ right here. All right, let me let me go up against the questions. Increase muscle power, endurance, and overall gas tank. Bag drills, conditioning, running intervals. Look, you want endurance? Um, hit the speed bag. Lots of speed bag, lots of shadow boxing. Lots of skipping rope. Lots of sparring. When you're comfortable in sparring, man, then, uh, then you don't get tired because you're comfortable in there. When you're not at home in sparring, you always get tired. So you got to be the, the one of those kind of guys that could be in the ring for an hour. Just, it's just how it is. Would Manzan destroy Triple G and Canelo? I don't know about that. I got I to gotta watch videos to compare again. I, I got to, yeah, that's hard. Should we spar, only spar hard during fight camps and fall back if you get rocked and spar? You know, I, I can't speak, every fighter is different. Some fighters take it easy. Because they save the best for the fight. Others, they, they go hard in sparring because they believe if they do a hard in sparring, then they'll be super comfortable in the fight. So it's all in your mentality, what you need to feel comfortable. Ryota Murata is a good fighter. I, I was surprised he got he, he won the, the revenge with uh, Brant, Grant, whatever, Rob, Rob Grant, Rob Brant, something like that. If you get hit hard enough to almost get knocked out, what do you do? I don't know, man. Use your defense, get the shot back, grab, clinch, move around, run the run the clock out. It's all up to you. Yeah, that's 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 all up to you. Squared stance is actually a lot of fun. I, I, I like squaring up a lot of times. I feel like I have more angles to attack and move around from. You may feel like a big target, but you have a lot of mobility when 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 you're more square. Can Canelo Canelo uh, knocking out Khan? It was unfortunate. I feel bad for Khan, but it was an entertaining fight. How to encourage a fighter who doesn't jab enough. You know, a lot of fighters who don't jab is because they only use the jab to cause damage. When all you do is try to, to cause damage, you're going to feel like the jab is a shitty weapon because it doesn't hit hard enough. But if you learn how to use your jab to set your opponent up for the, your, your bigger punches, then you start to really love it because you take time, you just set them up, set them up, set them up. You don't put yourself at risk, and then when he's ready, boom, you clock him. So, so that's how you encourage him. You gotta teach him tricks. You gotta teach him how to use the jab to set up bigger punches. If you're using the jab to just throw it out fast, that, that they're not gonna be interested in that. Uh, I thought McGregor's boxing sucks. Has always sucked. Was never good. They, I don't. No, no, no skill, no slickness, just power. That's it. I, I think his, I think his boxing sucks. That's all I can say. Not even worth talking about. The top boxer gloves. I enjoy them a lot, man. I really enjoy them. Um, they're kind of like weirdly shaped. It's a very different shape of boxing gloves, but I, I love them. I like they're definitely among my favorites. They feel great. 
They're comfy. Top five boxes of all time. Ah, oh, man, I can't, uh, can't pick. You know it's hard to pick because there's top five pro boxers and then there's even top five boxers that I know personally. You know, they're my friends. I spar with them, I watch them spar, I help them train for fights. It's different because you got boxing family, like boxing blood family, you know, like we, we swapped blood. So to choose the, uh, to choose favorite, I can't do that. Glad you like my car. Um, you know, you guys come visit me in LA, I'll take you guys off for a ride. We could do some uh, live, live YouTube videos together. a lot of roof views here oh man prime ali easy easy prime ali beats tyson easy i don't even think tyson could beat frazier i don't think tyson could beat foreman i don't think tyson could be yeah no ali for me ali easy not even no question McGregor, McGregor, yeah, no, nah. he's not a good, he's not a good boxer. Can metal music help? You don't, you shouldn't ask me that. You gotta ask yourself. Does it help you? If it helps you, then yes. You know, you know, one good thing you can say about fighters, how good they are, is based on how well they age. Old Foreman. Is like 45. Old Tyson is like 28. 28 is an old Tyson. So on the longevity alone, he, like Tyson was great for like this this long. I remember even in his even in his amateur days, in his amateur prime, he, he couldn't even he didn't even make it to the Olympics. So you know, whereas there were many other fighters before their prime, they when they were amateurs, they made it all the way to the Olympics and all that. So you know, I. I I like I like Tyson, but I can't I can't put him up there. Do I have my own gym? No, I wish I did. But I do have uh, gyms that I train at, many gyms. Who's more skilled, Pacquiao? Can I come on, Pacquiao? Easy, Pacquiao, 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 Pacquiao. Should you be a hard hitter to knock out people, or knock out people through skills, accuracy, and timing? You know, it's a little bit of both. But generally speaking, everybody can hit hard. Not everybody can do uh, accuracy and timing. So you got to have everything. Duran and Mayweather, Duran easily. Is Peekaboo ideal for short fighters? Yeah, I think it was made for short fighters. I don't think it's a, I think it's a terrible style for, for tall and long arm fighters. I think the average boxer, an average boxer is tall and skinny. It's not, it's not a good fit for the, the Mike Tyson peekaboo style. Who beat the other Hearns or Mayweather in welterweight? Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, you're asking about Hearns or Mayweather. Hearns! I would pick Hearns against Mayweather. Look, Mayweather w wouldn't even fight Paul Williams of his time. Paul Williams is like kind of a Hearns of his time, but Paul Williams didn't really have power. And Mayweather didn't even fight him, so. Pacquiao or Mikey Garcia? Man, it's crazy. I think I would still pick Pacquiao. How many kilometers have I traveled? Oh, I'm, uh, quite a while, man. Quite a while. We've been on this road for a while. I, I'm all for switching techniques. I'm all for changing up positions and stances during a fight, but I don't like to change, like, like, change your 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 position a little bit, you know. But to change your stance and flip from right-handed to left-handed, I I don't think it makes sense for a lot of people, honestly. Do I think Maidana beat Mayweather in the first fight? Yeah, I thought he did. I thought he landed more punches and he had heavier punches and he did more damage and Mayweather was clearly the uncomfortable one. So I thought Maidana won the first fight, but Mayweather won the second. 
Am I interested in competing in YouTube YouTube boxing? So uh, please tell me what that is, so I, I can decide. <laughs> no, man, I'm on the I'm on the 40, going over the north of Texas towards the Grand Canyon. Marotta, Marotta or Triple G? Oh, you know if they fought today, I, I don't know. I feel like Triple G would have too much skills, you know. Like I think Triple G should win. No oh, idea the taller guy with the faster feet. Okay, well, what advantages do you have, man? You can't, you can't just give me, give him all the advantage. What do I have? Do I get speed or what? Well, if they're gonna make me fight like a, somebody who can't fight for shit. I'm totally down for that. <laughs> they're, they're gonna pay me to fight somebody who has no boxing experience. I'm, all right, I'm in. Where do I sign up? Hagler versus Triple G. I mean, respect and historical and all that. Yep, you, you have to say Hagler out of respect. You, you, you have to just say Hagler first. But Triple G is a really good fighter, man. Like, it wouldn't be wrong. I mean, look, Hagler had a draw with the uh, Vito Antofuermo, so it's not. It's not like he beat everybody all easy. I fight Logan Paul for 20. Well, I mean, he's really big, man. He's, he's like, I think he's like 200 pounds. He's like big. He's a big guy. Why are Velcro gloves not allowed in professional fights? Uh, well, I think one, because the Velcro can cut you. And two is you want laces because they, they, they're they more secure. You can tie it like tighter around your wrist. Prime Triple G versus Prime Ward. Well, they're not the same weight classes, so you have to say Ward because he's a bigger size. But Triple G is really good fighter. He's really good fighter. Is being short fighter just a man? Man, that's that's for you to decide. I don't answer that. If you're shorter, it's your job to 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 make it work, to find a way to make it an advantage. YouTube boxing is cringe. You know what? It's true. YouTube boxers are are. They're not skilled and they're shitty, but you know what? They bring exposure to the sport. They make people watch. Because at first, casual fans watch shitty boxes, and then you know what? They get curious and they start watching pros. So anything that brings exposure to the sport, I like it. I don't care, even if they make another Rocky movie with horrible boxing techniques, but if it inspires the next generation of millions of kids to box, I'm all for it, man. What kind of drills should you start? Skipping rope, shadow boxing, hitting the bags, mitts, working with the coach, do what your coach says. Will there ever be a pair of expert boxing gloves? You know, this is something I actually thought about because so many people keep asking me this. And, um, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be a business, man. I, I, boxing is my passion. I'm not here for money. I'm here because I love the sport. I don't want to. The moment you turn into a business, you gotta spend all your time thinking up ideas to make money, marketing, dealing with customers. I don't want to do that. I want to talk boxing with people with boxers. If I ever make gloves, what I'm gonna do is make super cheap gloves so that every boxer around the world can afford it. You know, like I would try to make a hundred dollar boxing gloves, but for fifteen dollars. So that kids anywhere can afford to, to start boxing and, and not have to, you know, get ripped off in the store or, or buy cheap $40 Everlast gloves that, that have no quality whatsoever. So if I ever make them, uh, that's what I would do. Yeah, exactly. I'll have to make them in Pakistan or China or whatever. But but like I said, I would just sell them at cost, you know, just just like a like a social cause. If I wear glasses at negative two, can you pass? You can pass. You can get amateur license with that. Difference between heavy hitter and heavy hands. That's kind of the same thing, man. That's that's more or less considered the same thing. I think I think heavy hitter means you got power usually, but people when they say heavy handed, they they probably mean like like no matter where you touch them and how you touch them, it always hurts, even if, even if you don't hit hard. So it's more like that. What's the best way to deal with sparring partners who come at you aggressive? Hit them. Hit them, move, clinch, pull their head down, pivot, 
counter them hard or maybe put up a really good defense uh, to see if they tire themselves out. I mean, you, you got to find a way. Is road work important? Yeah, of course it's important. Well, you, okay, you got you to gotta develop your cardio somehow. If you have another way, do it the other way. My favorite boxing brawl, oh man. Uh, what, Mickey Ward and, 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 and Arturo Gatti. And actually the freaking Barrera Morales trilogy. Oh, that was fantastic. I am average. Should I work more on my speed or punching power? Bose. All right, dude, you don't get to choose that. All serious boxers, they, they're working on everything. So you got to work on everything. You can't, you can't, you can't cherry pick. Yeah, it's my best friend, man. He's, he's, he's just DJing. He's in the zone. I don't know if you guys want the music louder or lower, but let me know. Thank you, thank you, uh, Ed. Azuma Nelson. You know what? I don't remember that fight right now, right now. I don't remember that. Uh, so I gotta watch that again, but I don't remember that one right now. Hey, thanks, Ed. How did you like your winning? How did you like your winning gloves? You know, I, I used to fight with contacts, but, but every now and then they come out. It's so annoying. They fall on the floor and then like, you gotta look for it, clean it. And then if you can't find it, you gotta take the other one off because then it's weird. So I, I don't even spar with contacts. I don't need them. You know what, actually, you know why I spar with contacts? It wasn't for sparring. It was just so I could walk around the gym and see stuff. You know, I could see the time. It was for that. It wasn't to see the gloves. Do you think, do I think I can beat a, a heavyweight guy with little to no experience? I think I can. I had a friend who wanted to spar and he was a heavyweight and I hit him to the body, but I knocked him out. He, he, he was knocked down. He was hurt, he, could, he couldn't continue. And I didn't even hit him hard, I was surprised. I thought because it was heavy, he had a lot of body, like it would be hard to penetrate all that, but I knocked him out of the body shot. Is road work important? Yes, man, you gotta develop cardio. So yeah, do it. Roy joins versus Ali. Uh, Ali, cause he's bigger. Do I prefer weightlifting or calisthenics? Calisthenics, easy. Is 19 year old too old? You, you gotta try it, man. You answer that question. That's not for me. You answer this for you. You decide. Bag work for cardio number one. Bag work is good, but you gotta do it a lot of different ways to get good cardio out. But yes, it, it does develop a good cardio. I love the Prince. That guy's so freaking talented, man. He raw talent, so much power, footwork, balance, coordination, defensive. He's just a natural boxing talent. Love that guy. He's amazing. Like incredible. One of the top all-time talents in boxing. Uh, did I see the fighter? I, I want to say yes, but I don't want to be wrong. So maybe not. How do I figure out my style in boxing? You know what the answer to that is? You just keep boxing for a long time and keep absorbing new information because your style, you don't figure out your style. Your style figures you out. It molds with your body over time, your mentality. Your mentality changes over time and it, it changes with you. So just, just try different things. Gervonta or Lomachenko, who wins? Loma's a better fighter. If it was in their prime, we know who would win. If they fought today, I think I would still pick Loma right now. But hey, you don't know. You don't know what would happen. What do I think of Prince? Oh, okay, you already asked that. I answered already. Yeah. Ed, how do you like the... Um, how did you like the leather, right? The leather feels premium, right? It's rich. It's like a really rich texture. Whereas like when you're touching other gloves, it's like crap leather. It looks like cheap plastic leather. Will heavy lifting slow your speed? You know what? Try it for a month and you'll know the answer for yourself. How do you assess whether you can become a pro? Hang out with pros, spar with pros, hang out with amateurs, spar with pro amateurs. See how fast you learn compared to how fast they learn and you can decide if you're on pace to be uh you know to be on that level or not prince versus floyd you have to pick floyd because floyd's bigger punches are born or made it's a little bit of both guys it's a little bit of both but of course i don't want to say born and then that's in a way i'm telling you guys that if you don't have power now it's not worth developing that's which is not true you got to figure it out 
to wear to training with 18 ounce gloves make you faster and improve stamina i think a little bit of shoulder conditioning but i don't think it makes you faster it doesn't give you the coordination to be faster Did I have street fights? I had a lot of backyard fights, actually. And I wish we recorded them all, but I had a lot of backyard fights in my college days. At parties and stuff. Yep, winning leather is incredible. You know what else too? Winning fake leather is also the best fake leather. It's rich and beautiful. The FG5000 headgear, I love it. I have it, it's actually in the trunk right now. I have the winning five, 5G and you, uh, 5G uh, FG 5000 and you know what it's one of the most copied headgear when you look at all all boxing headgear today with the face bar and all, they copied that from winning they ripped it off yeah padding's really nice you know if you like winning padding you, you can try fly fly gloves have some really nice soft padding um, yeah could anyone become world champion oh come on man if anyone could become world champion We'd have more world champions. <laughs> Prime Mayweather versus Prime Pacquiao. You know, you are, you have to pick Mayweather because he's bigger. But the fact that Mayweather didn't have the confidence to take on Pacquiao, you know, like May, Pri, Mayweather took on Marquez, no problems, had no problems. But with Pacquiao, I felt he wasn't confident in his own ability and he made it difficult to negotiate the fight. So with, with that, I, I wonder if even Mayweather was afraid of Prime Pacquiao for some reason. So, uh, I, I would say, yeah, you have to, if you had to bet, I mean, if you had to pick intelligent, you have to pick Mayweather because he's bigger. He's 10 pounds, 10, almost 15 pounds bigger than Pacquiao, but, but just for the fun of it, I would bet Pacquiao. How are other cars going to pass me? What do you mean? Some of them are passing me right now. Prime Nazim versus Pacquiao. I feel like I have to pick Pacquiao because he's just, he's just so much, man. He's, he, and he's just accomplished so much. You know, Prince Nazim, he, he, he wore out pretty early. He was kind of the Mike Tyson of his time. <laughs> um. What gym do I train? I train a lot of different gyms. Uh, LAKO in Eagle Rock, uh, Hill Street Boxing in Long Beach. Um, and then a lot of just like fitness gyms where, you know, I do conditioning and sometimes they, they let you spar there. So, you know, different places. Can be crunch, can be 24 hour. How does Canelo weigh so much? Dude, he's a stocky dude, man. What are my thoughts on CTE? Please don't get it, it's real, don't get it. Favorite brand? I don't have a brand of skipping rope or jump rope, but just pick the ones with the like the thinny, the thin uh, acrylic or plastic rope. That's it. Those why I like those the best. Drugs and performance enhancement drugs and boxing. Yeah, it, they exist. How do I avoid dying? Don't get hit to the head, man. And uh, if you if you know that you're hurt, stop right away. Don't don't wait till you feel that you're hurt. Right? If you know you took some hard shots, stop. Take a break. How many miles can I drive? Uh, this car can go like 300 miles. If I don't drive, you know, if I don't drive crazy fast or accelerate too much. Is it bad? Uppercut hook, whatever. Is it Eastern European style the way of the future? Well, there are many styles. So for sure it will always be in the future. Thank you, Sergio. I, I really appreciate that comment. Um, thank you, Sergio. I, I appreciate that. You know, I, I, I love doing this. I love connecting with you guys. The cynicism about Pacquiao being roided up. I don't believe Pacquiao was taking steroids. I, I really don't. I really don't. I, I never saw anything that would make his stamina has always been the same when he got when he went up in weight
All right, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, so Pacquiao, uh, when he moved up in weight, you know, I, I felt he never had any sus suspicious performances. Marquez, I felt, had suspicious form performance when he knocked out Pacquiao. Um, do I have an online coaching where... Yeah, I do. Uh, I do in a... You know what? I need to, like... I'm going to make a product clear that everybody knows how much it costs and what you can do. But, like, basically, I look at your videos. Yeah, I can do, can do like, a... Q&A session like a like a like a video chat session and I can also do like video review where I look at your videos and I give you tips so I'll make that an official product and you can order that it will be expensive I'll tell you that because I don't have a lot of time I get way too many requests so it will be expensive but if you really want my opinion I'm happy to give it to you thoughts of my Donna Floyd glove contract there was no controversy my Donna wanted to use approved gloves but they were known for being hitting gloves and Floyd didn't want that and Floyd being the A-side he prevented the gloves he just said nope not fighting unless you change your gloves to pillow gloves you know so that's what it is Joshua versus Fury I think Fury easily easy like that's not even no question I pick Wilder against Fury easy as well this Mayweather and no no they don't have a they don't have a similar style it's different just completely different junk food don't don't eat junk food. greatest boxer in terms of accomplishments Pacquiao easy he just did so many more things he's fought like so many more types of opponents and he's fought so many more bigger opponents he's got more weight classes and he had more longevity I mean he fought like pro as a 16 year old kid and then pro again has like a fitter and holds a title so as an old ass fighter he fought a young undefeated Thurman and he won. Where it was in Mayweather was old. He's like what 36? He fought an old Bertle as his last fight. Anyway, nah, you can't even and it was a senator while he was fighting. He's a freaking it's crazy, man. That his stuff is crazy. He owns a basketball team, he owns restaurants and all kinds of Yeah. Uh okay, next one. Prime Fury, Foreman, come on, man. Foreman, easy. Yeah, like, but you know what? You gotta say, you gotta give. Fury's only like 30, 31. You gotta see, you gotta give him another eight years. But Fury is all time, I think he's an all time heavyweight great. I mean, the skill set that he got, the size and speed. You know, if, if there was people coming out there saying that they thought Fury could beat Foreman, I wouldn't be offended. Who's the next Mayweather? You know what? Might be Haney. Oh, I would pick Haney against Garcia. I would pick Haney against Garcia. I really like Haney. I like what I see. How many hours of sleep is needed for... That's for you to decide, man. That's not for me. Could be six hours. Could be ten hours. Minimum distance to run a day. At least three miles. I mean, the first mile is warm-up already. So, really, at least three miles. Greatest heavyweight boxer skill-wise? Why not Ali? Thoughts on Shakur Stevenson? I think he's a good fighter. Um, I have to see him against, you know, against somebody good. But I think he's a good fighter. Favorite upcoming prospect? Oh, there's so many. I'm curious to see how Teofimo would turn out. I think he's really interesting to watch. Very clear. TA manageable. You know what? There's nothing manageable about it. Just You can just manage to not get it or aggravate it. Like I said, if you feel like you're taking shots, stop. Luis Ortiz is awesome, man. Great fighter. I, I like I love that guy. Amazing. Amazing. Incredible skills and everything. It's so sad that he was... He's like the heavyweight Guillermo Rigondeau. Nobody wanted to fight him for years. They avoided his ass. Only when they were 40, he got the opportunity. And he almost knocked out Wilder in a way. I have not seen you know what? I think I have seen You know, I wonder if my brother has the newest version. I wonder if he's got it. Caleb Plant and David Benavides. I feel like you got to hit Benavides. Just because I feel like he's done more. But you know what? Caleb looks a little more coordinated. Benavides, at times, he does look a little lanky. 
So, I don't know. I don't know, man. It, it, that's tough. Ball. But the favorite's got to be Benavides. How come I never turned pro? Oh! I never had the time to dedicate to and get ready and all that and... And, um... To deal with the politics. And I saw what my friends were going through. I had so many, like, pro fighter friends and fighters I spar with, fighters I train. And to see what they deal with, like... Yeah, it, it wasn't... I, I don't envy them, man. You know, people see the glory and knocking other fighters down and it looks it looks nice but most of the time you feel like shit. you really do get beat up in the in sparring you're working your ass off doing the thousands of crunches and exercise you're always tired you're exhausted no social life and then even even when you win you know get paid a couple hundred bucks i don't know and the matchmaking it's all so much politics man do i think lifting weights Increase the punching power. No, but you're welcome to. You know, you're welcome to prove. If you can prove me wrong, do it. Does Floyd Mayweather and Andre Ward have a similar fighting system? Some things, yeah. I know Andre Ward uh, copied a lot of Mayweather moves. He copied a lot of little things. How do I deal with nerves during the first amateur fight? Don't, man. Just go in there nervous. Have fun. Listen, if you're good, you're good. If you're bad, you're bad. Being nervous doesn't change nothing. I sincerely believe that. Maybe if you're nervous, you, you get tired quicker. Um, but if you're good, the, dude, the other guy will be the other guy will be nervous too. I, I don't feel like the only way that the other guy will be calm and you're the nervous one is if he sees that he's his technique is way better than yours. So yeah, keep yourself in check. And you gotta like, if you know that, um, you know, you, you're doing the hard work and you're not behind everybody else, then don't worry about it. Your nerves will be even. It's gonna be an even fight. You know what? I'm gonna cover that today. I love that question. I'm gonna cover that little instructional video today and I'm gonna give credit to you, uh, Ali Amari. Ali Amari. Right. Ray Mikey Garcia out of 10. Man, I'll give him an eight. I'll give him an eight. I haven't seen anything that's level 10. And I haven't seen anything that's level nine either. I'll give him an eight. He's better, I think he's oh, seven or eight, seven or eight. And, and, and I'm not saying that he can't be a 10. I'm just saying I haven't seen anything that shows me he's a 10. Ruiz with Tyson Fury. Oh, Tyson Fury, easy. I would pick Fury against Ruiz. I mean, look at how well, how easily Anthony Joshua outboxed Ruiz just by running away from him. And I think Ruiz is a better fighter than AJ, by the way. He's better, he's more skilled, everything. More skilled, everything better. Is six months of hard work enough to prepare for my first pro fight? You know the easiest way for you to know that? Go to the gym, spar another pro, and you'll have that answer for yourself. How would Conor do if he went to boxing early in his career? He, he might have been good. You don't. We don't know that. He could have been good. Is Ben a bit of a puncher? I think he is. I think he's a hard hitter. How important is power? Very important for uh, developing like fine motor skills. What makes uh, a good boxer? Is it all down the fighting? Experience? Man, it's everything. Skills, experience. You know what, man? Andre Ward versus Joe Calzaghe. Watch the Mayweather gym. They did all their predictions. And you know what? You would think that them being a, a predominantly Ameri a black American gym, that they would pick Ward. And more people in that gym still pick Calzaghe. And I would pick Calzaghe too. Easy for me. Calzaghe, easy. I mean, put it this way. I thought Kovalev beat Ward the first time. So, and I think Calzaghe is, is, is a, a several levels better than Kovalev. Tips to improve head movement. Uh, you know, I can cover that today. I'll, I'll give some tips later today. Why did Mayweather see you used to hold jab, hold the mitts for the jab, and move back and forth? So you can move while throwing a jab. So you can jab with footwear. How do I rank the training in the martial arts taught in the Marine Corps and effectiveness and lethality? Uh, you know, it's just a starter course, man. It's not... 
it's not that it's bad it's that they only give you like a couple days of it and that's not enough i not i don't even know if they give you a couple days i think it's a couple hours my friend was in the marines he could tell you hey brian how do you rate the uh, marine corps uh the effectiveness of the marine corps uh like hand-to-hand -hand training oh they have a belt system so they have like five belts starting from tan and up to black no no the and regular boot camp oh regular and, yeah oh no 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 they teach you like basic punching and like most of the guys that were there they have no idea how to fight um like uh most of the stuff was like uh kill shots uh just to like go for the neck or something like that we learned like the most we learned was like just like a one two and that's it you know it wasn't much there you go so there you go it wasn't that it's not very effective andrew Ruiz versus wilder oh that's a scary fight wilder got long arms i feel like i'd have to lean towards wilder but ruiz is the better fighter the better skilled by far how do i use what i learned in pad work to my sparring fight dude just do the same thing you did in the pad sparring when you see those positions them when bones get microfractures and they later it in, is there a way to do that with the skull to protect brain damage? I don't think the skull works that way, man. Because it's not the skull that's getting the damage, it's the brain that's getting the damage. So, it, no, it, it's the brain that's getting the damage. It doesn't matter how strong your skull is, your brain gets damaged. Maybe if your skull is built a certain way, it transfers less impact. You know, like, like it's a leverage thing, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson versus Wilder. Um, I feel like I have to pick Tyson. I mean, look at David Hay. David Hay rocked Wilder in sparring. So I can only imagine what Tyson might have done. But to be fair, Wilder is a lot better now than he was, you know, back when he was sparring with, with Hay. Uh, anyway, I, 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 Tyson, he got more amateur pedigree. Is a muscle physique really important or is it a disadvantage? It really depends, man. It can help you or hurt you. It's, it depends. Uh, there is such a thing as a wrong kind of muscle, though. How to know you become a good boxer? When you spar other good boxers and you see that you're doing well against them. Mayweather, talent or hard work? Well, you got to say both. His hard work is a level 10. I think his talent is more like an 8 or 9. You know, let's say 9. I, I, don't, think May I don't consider him a level 10 talent. Flat footer on toes. You know what, man? The more time that I, I box, the more I'll tell you this. Toes is good for moving around. Flat-footed is good for stability, for power. If you want to transfer power, flat-footed will give you the most power and balance. But staying on your toes will help you move around. That's it. Mike Tyson versus Tyson Fury. I would pick Tyson Fury. Yeah, I would pick Tyson Fury against Mike Tyson. Benefits of being a southpaw is that you... You're fighting from an angle that, that more people are uh, not used to. If I'm a pro lightweight, could I defend myself against a big bouncer? Yeah, I think I think you might. To some degree, I think you could. Yeah, I, th I think you could. There are a lot of bouncers that, you know, they, they can't fight for crap. All right, Madrumov. Uh, he's a really good fighter, man. Yo, it's funny. Uh, the guy they fought, Alejandro Barrios or whatever. I know that guy's girlfriend. So, at the time... And um, yeah, my, I, so I saw that fight cheering for the other guy, knowing the other guy was gonna lose because Madrimov looks like a beast. He's kind of like a like a like an Eastern European Tank Davis a little bit, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. He's very explosive. How long do you need to train to compete in your first amateur? Depends, man. This is an easy smoker fight. You could do it in three six months. But if it's like a serious, like, entry tournament fight, then, you know, maybe at least a year. That's up to you, man. You decide that. I don't decide that. You decide that. Tips to improve boxing skills if you're alone. Ah, oh, man, if you're alone, go get, go get a friend. Train with a friend. Don't train alone. Whatever you do, don't train alone. It's tough. How do you figure out your weight class? Well, get your... Find your natural healthy body weight and maybe chip off 5-10 pounds. 
Calzaghi versus... Okay, I'm, I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to entertain Calzaghi versus Mayweather because... Uh, because they're not even the same size. I've already made videos on cutting the ring. Bose, I already did that. So you got to look. What should you focus on more? The bus. Pad worker sparring. Both. Both. You gotta do both. Chipper G or Jake LaMotta? Oh, I, I gotta watch. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I gotta really watch footage. I feel like I would lean towards Triple G, but we'll see. Jason Rosario. You know what? I haven't seen that guy, so I don't know. I haven't seen the Jason guy. Yeah, I haven't seen that guy. We got uh, three more minutes of questions and then I'm gonna shut this down and take a break. So whatever. No, I don't think Adrian Bronner can make a return. Even at his best, he wasn't that great. So if he makes a return, he makes a return to what? He was always a contender. The only times he had a, a, child, a championship belt is when he beat smaller fighters. That's it. So there's no return. He was never he was never a good fighter. John Gotti versus Sammy the Bull. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> How long till you get good at boxing and kicking ass in the street? Honestly, you want to kick ass in the street. Like right, six months of boxing is probably enough to do that. Maidana's return. I don't know, man. I, I Maidana's a serious fighter. When he but when he's serious. So I don't think that... I don't see that he could be serious again. He, he looks, life looks too comfortable for him. Nayoya, Inoue, and Manny Pacquiao. I feel like I would have to pick Pacquiao. I mean, look look at Inoue versus uh, Donaire, right? Old Donaire was able to give Inoue a little bit of problems. So maybe like a super young Pacquiao and Inoue? I don't know. No problem, Mohammed. I'm glad you like it. Sergio Martinez. Oh, no. He has a knee injury. What the hell is he going to do? He's old. His style was always a moving style. He was never a sit-in-the-pocket kind of guy. And now he has hurt knees. So I don't know how that's going to work. He's going to have to reinvent himself so much. How does age affect fighting ability? You know what? You don't have the same strength that you used to. You don't have the same endurance. You can't take shots the same. Your power is not the same. You have more, hopefully you have more maturity and experience and, and skills. But uh, yeah, your joints are older. You're, you don't move the same, man. Whoa. Um. Your, oh, your left. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Um, all right, let's see. I'm going to answer all these real quick. So no more questions after uh, the last question that I just, just got. So no more questions after that. Uh, but, yeah, when you're older, you just don't move the same, man. But, but if you have a lot of mental skills, you, you, it helps a lot. How to beat a bigger boxer? Look, you got to have an advantage somewhere. If, if his size is a big advantage... You need to have an advantage somewhere. So you need a lot of skills, a lot of power, a lot of speed. Something to offset that, you know. I mean, that's just the rule of physics. Alfredo Angulo, I really like that guy, but he just, you know, he couldn't he couldn't win against A-level competition. He couldn't compete. Uh, but he did a great job against Lara. That was a shocking fight. I can't believe that. It's, that that's like a perfect example of styles make fights. What hurts more? Temple shots, chin shots, body shots. What's more damaging? You know, I'll tell you this. Wherever is smaller is more vulnerable. So when you see guys with a small V chin, like Paul Williams, small, sharp V chin, go for the chin. When you see guys with a small head, small forehead, like Amir Khan, go for the forehead. Uh, body shots, if, you know, if they're a tall, skinny guy with, you know, little body go for the body 
Wherever small, go over there. Find my wrist isn't straight when throwing hooks. Yeah, you, you need to bend it a little when you throw hooks. You gotta bend the wrist a little when you throw hooks. Because if you throw it like this, it's not gonna feel comfortable. Why hand conditioning toughening is not talked about in boxing? Well, because I, I think it's not really the issue. Like, hand condi conditioning toughening is for bare knuckle boxing fighters. Look, if you hit a, if you hit on a ring girl in a boxing environment, she's already been hit on by like a hundred other boxers. I don't know, man. Uh, dress really nice and look rich. Try to look like you're rich, like you're somebody, and then she'll be nice to you because she doesn't want to miss out on opportunities for her career. Or uh, meet her outside of that that crazy showbiz environment and and spit your game. I think all of them are pretty nice though. Knuckle fighting is cool. Whatever brings uh, fans to the sport. Best, best exercise, punching power. Sparring. I'm going to just say sparring. Improve chin strength. I don't think you can do that. You can, you can do neck exercises. How is good for boxing? No, you, it's not how, about how much you have. It's about how you use what you have. All boxers are trying to lose weight, man, not gain weight. Is it safe to go back to gyms? Neighborhood? I personally think it's not safe, but, you know, all, all up to you. All right, my friends. Thank you for joining me on this uh, YouTube live stream Tesla Autopilot edition with some live DJing. DJ Norman Riddle. This is my best friend from, from my childhood. And, uh, you know, I really, uh, I really love uh, talking to you guys and, and meeting all you guys and, you know, I'll think about all the questions you ask and we'll make some YouTube videos for that. Thanks again. Have a great day. Goodbye to you all. See you the boss. See all you guys next time. God bless you all.